Here at this high school in Pennsylvania, suddenly the lockdown alarm goes off. Fortunately, as the protective masks show, this is a drill, part of training for staff on how to react if a gunman storms their campus. How many people were shot? How many people were shot? Hit in the arm right here. That first scenario was used to show how little protection is offered by traditional lockdown advice to turn off the lights and hide. Was there anything difficult for the active shooter to overcome in hitting intended targets? No. Known by the acronym of ALICE training, the courses offered by this company encourage a more aggressive response than just sheltering in place. This can involve attempting to barricade the door or charging at the gunman. Get the, gun. the more we can deter the person from gaining entry into that room, it increases the likelihood of that person giving up and going to another target or another area because their clock is ticking away as well because they know law enforcement's on the way. The idea is that the teachers and other staff on this course take what they learn back to their classes and prepare their students or colleagues for the worst case scenario. For primary school teachers in particular, that presents special challenges. It is difficult, especially when they're that little, because they come in, you know, they can't tie their shoes, they don't know where to go, they're away from their parents for the first time. Um, and then to say, oh yeah, by the way, you need to be trained in case of a shooter, but you ha they have to be. This is what we do in case you know, a stranger comes into the building and it is threatening us. After the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012, which left 27 dead, most of them children, President Obama pushed for basic restrictions on access to firearms, but was thwarted by Republicans in Congress. Since then, attacks on schools have continued to be a grim part of American life. As a teacher, not only are we worried about educating our students, you know, now we have to worry about preparing them for the worst, which is, you know, something that 25 years ago you would never think that you'd have to do something like that. And I don't know, it's kind of sad. The instructors here focus on dealing with the new reality rather than debating the politics behind it. With gun control laws unlikely to change anytime soon, the market for their services seems safe. Hi, you know what you're saying? Stop, 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 stop.